Hello, I'm green. And I'm purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. Let's go to Million Road. Caleb, you wanted to talk about Etrian Odyssey 4, is that huh? correct? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. Um, well, like I said, I don't know how many episodes ago, but um, I, I recently uh, just... I don't even know if I even talked about it on this I show. I don't even know if you did either. Uh, I recently just beat it. Today, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really... It was really good. I love the Etrian Odyssey games. Even though I've only played, like, 1 and 4. Yeah, I skipped... Two and three, I don't know why. Yeah, two and three suck. <laughs> it's just, no, no, no. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I want to get three because I've heard that like it's like the best one. Mm. Um, but uh, I love the, those games and the final boss. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but the final boss was ugh, very challenging. It's Mecha Hitler. It no. It basically it took me um it took me like eighty turns to beat him. How long did it take you in time? Uh, probably like two hours. Jesus! <laughs> you shouldn't fight a boss for two hours! <laughs> I might be over exaggerate. Oh my gosh! I remember I exaggerate, once again, Kingdom Hearts, whenever I was a kid. Ah, down I, it goes. And I played Kingdom Hearts 1, you know, the first time you fight Darkseid, Heartless, yeah. whenever you're leaving Destiny Island. I'm sure it probably only took me maybe like 20 minutes or something to beat him. But whenever I was telling my friends, I was like, I will fight him for an hour and a half. He's so hard. I barely beat him. And in my, you know, seven-year-old mind, I probably thought I was telling the truth. But knowing now, I'm like, there's no way I did something for an hour and a half. I didn't have that kind of patience as a child. I, I mean, have, I have a good amount of patience now, but not as a child. To, like, I, I think at least I was fighting him for at least an hour. It's too long, bro. I don't know. It didn't... The good thing is, like, it, it sure it felt like... It might have been an hour, but it still felt like... It didn't feel like it was that long. I mean, it did, but... <laughs> I, I enjoyed every, like, minute of it. It was a really good fight. Ow. Are those supposed to be, like, light rays or something? Yeah, like... Like, the it's dark and, like, the light... The sunlights are coming in. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Which one do I go for? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that one. That's what I was gonna tell you. Watch out for the Zubat. They were using what? Supersonic. Did that's a f that's a fish. Yeah, but it looks like using Supersonic in Pokemon. He, but you, you said Zubat. Yeah, he he knows the move Supersonic. Yeah, but still, that's like he's the he's famous for okay, using okay, Supersonic okay, okay. because he's annoying. And Ow. I wanted to talk about Pringles. Go ahead and talk about Pringles then. <laughs> I'm kind of, oh goodness gracious. I'm not going to talk about Pringles if I'm going to be talking to myself about Pringles. We're going to get there together. I'm sorry, this is, um, very stressful. Careful now. What even, what even is this castle? And they, also, is Bomberman incredibly small or is this castle just way too big? <laughs> I think uh, we have to find another big cannon. Yep. <laughs> oh, how original. Hey, there you know, she is. You know that, you know that uh, mid-boss we had a couple of levels back? Yeah. I think I have to fight this guy, like, three more times. I mean, he's such a cool boss. <laughs> he just stays still and shoots stuff at you. Oh, he's really cool. Mm. And he shot off his nose. And he's dead. Okay, good. Okay. Whew. That level was really rough, actually. Rough? Yeah. It's a rough life. I feel like that's the name of it. Oh, something. no. What is that? It's a bomb. Yep. Nice. I have a feeling that's going to cause problems. Yeah, later. Not now, but later it will. He has a big blast radius. Did I? Hold on. I'm going to restart. What is that? Let me check something. Yeah, that's why. Okay. You have to hit him a certain number of times for them to give you points? Yeah. Damn. I didn't get that one. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't affect my score. We'll see. We'll see. Jenny. <laughs> okay, Pringles. Yeah, Pringles. Pringles, in my opinion, are uh, the best standard potato chip one can buy. Uh. And uh, allow me to make my case. Uh, they're great. Okay. The, the, okay, I will admit they probably have the worst packaging. Yeah, I of, get uh, my hand stuck in, stuck in the canister. Every and it makes time. you look like an animal. Oh, no, no, no. It makes you look like an animal just by trying to get the bottom Pringles out of the can. Because you're either, like, wrenching your hand down and you're like, Ah, come on! Or you're just, like, tilting the can into your mouth. 
and you just look like an animal. And people are like, man, that guy's crazy. And you're like, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to get all the Pringles that I paid for. That being said, they're really delicious, though. And if I had to say what the best Pringles is... Mm-hmm. Um, are. are... Mm. Moving on. Uh, I would probably say sour cream and onion. And I'm open for a discussion on that. What, do you, what are your favorite, Caleb? Um, original. I should have been known. Your favorite ice cream is vanilla, isn't it? Yep. Yep. No, no, no. Actually, it's a, it's a, it's a sherbet. It's not ice cream. Oh, you're right. The, no. Orange sherbet's not ice cream? No, it's sherbet. But isn't it a flavor of ice cream? Sherbet's not a flavor of ice cream. cream. It's its own thing. Oh. It's because it's not made with milk. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's vanilla, then. So, so, like, you know a dream sickle? Yeah. So it, it's it's like a sherbet core, like outside, oh, okay. with an ice cream core. Oh. You just had a major revelation right here, Caleb. I guess so. I kind of feel stupid, actually. You do? <laughs> yeah. Don't feel stupid, Caleb. It was an honest mistake. I mean, people might ridicule yes, you Yes, people it, are definitely going to ridicule for <laughs> me like, for you it. Like, you thought... Sh or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're like, sherbet is ice cream! <laughs> I'm going to look it up. I don't know. We're going to figure out... Who's right? Right here and right now. And, okay. I say sherbet, but it's it's just spelled like sherbet, right? I believe so. Let's see. Sherbet. I'm already lost. Or sherbet. Okay, it does have milk, but it's not ice cream. It's a frozen dessert made with fruit juice added to milk or cream, egg white, or gelatin. Okay. Okay. Is, I'm gonna ask it directly. Is sherbet ice cream, or is it like a flavor of ice cream? Sherbet is a frozen dessert made with the foundations in ice cream. However, sherbet also contains a frozen mixture of sweetened fruit juice, water, such and such. So it looks like it's like from the same roots as ice cream, but it's its own thing. Okay. It's like the cheesecake. Alright. You okay, Caleb? You seem a little down. Huh? No, sorry. I'm focused. I'm sorry. I got lost. That that was like a mini labyrinth. I got lost a little bit. Well, now we're going to the dark prison. That doesn't sound much better. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got lost. In the oh, room. this is this is what I was talking about. I need four keys. That's the exit, and I need the four keys hidden in here. Because what we're doing... Ugh, I'm not going to let you read that. Um, what we're doing here is, uh, we're trying to look for Princess Millennium, and, you know, the, the story behind this stage is like, she, we think she's in one of these cells. Oh, uh, okay. I really needed some story background for, to know why we were doing Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm Barrel Man! Come back here! Ah! <laughs> All my innards! <laughs> oh, God. It just opens up and it's just like saltwater taffy. You're like, gross. He's like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a monkey. You That's what them. they kind of look like. I don't know if they actually are monkeys, but I know they're like... They look like the, the symbol clapping monkeys. <laughs> Those guys freaked me out. <laughs> Toy Story 3, that guy freaked me out. I mean, he was meant to be freaky, so I guess you had the correct the correct reaction. Come on, Pac-Man. There we go. <laughs> what will I tell Miss Pac-Man? Oh, no. Well, obviously she's not in here. <laughs> no, that's her. She's transformed. <laughs> she's become one of them. Uh, have we found any of the keys yet? One. We found one of them. Okay. See? Oh, I see. I need to come back. Where are we going now? Oh. Yeah, yeah this is... This stage, um... There are a few stages in this game where they're, like, open field. It's like everything you want is, like, just there. You just have to explore. I guess that's pretty revolutionary for... Well, I keep saying revolutionary. No. I don't think any... Or it doesn't seem like anything in this game was, like, completely unheard No! Of. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it's that's okay. the downside to these levels, because if I die... Start all <laughs> yeah. over again. And these tend to be like the longer levels too. Well, you said you said none of the levels have checkpoints though. Yeah. But I guess since just these ones are bigger, in general, it just makes it worse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about? 
Who? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Ooh. That last level took it out of you. It stole Apparently. your soul. <laughs> like a Dementor in Harry Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> I am Harry Pooter. <laughs> and they all made fun of him, and then he never became a wizard. You're a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, I'm just messing with you. Get wrecked, Pooter. See, okay, that barrel doesn't seem angry. Yeah, that, first. yeah, he's, no, he never, he's always has that face on him. See, why can't, but he still tries to kill you, though, so he's yeah. just a sociopath. Ooh, remote control bombs. Oh, I forgot, I didn't realize the game had them. Yep. You did it. I press Z, you press Z to, uh, activate them. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm good. Did we get all the keys? No, no. I oh, think... you mean just like going back down? Yeah. Um. Okay, I was like, where is the platform? <laughs> no, just jump, Caleb. You'll be fine. Yeah, totally. I won't fall into the bombless abyss. Well, that's what this game expects of you. You just gotta take leaps of faith and kill the monkeys. The monkeys were a band. Huh? Yeah, sure they were. They were. They, yeah. sang, they were the original singers of I'm a Believer. Oh, that's right. The remote control bombs in this game are timed. I only so have them for... they're not remote control. Uh, no, no, oh, no. They're like a power-up. Yeah, I only have them for a certain amount of time. Die. That was... What? That was just... I'm being honest. Die. I wanted him to die. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Whenever, like, if you ever get into trouble with the law, yeah, they're just gonna like play back that, <laughs> that audio clip for him. It's like, they're like, no, Caleb's a good guy, and they're like, uh, let's refer to Exhibit A. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I wanted him to die, <laughs> and then they're just like, does that sound like something a good, upstanding man would say? And everyone's like, oh, he's got the devil inside him. What? <laughs> that is, if your jury is made up of. Southern Baptist people. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be horrible for Old me. Old Southern Baptist women. Yeah, that, that's not going to work in my favor. Hit the switch, uh, Caleb. Why did you have to... Hmm? Oh, I thought you were, like, setting something up by putting that bomb there. Oh, no, I messed up. I just, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? Yeah. I got him. Oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay, now we go back to that one spot. Did we unlock something? Yeah, we activated that switch, and it should have activated this platform over here. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, dear depth perception, <laughs> don't fail me now, please. You f sail right behind it. Oh, jeez. You did it! Okay. Wait, you gotta get that box, though. Yeah. You did it. You're just getting it right now. Straight getting it. Okay, we should be good. That was some grade A box breaking right there. On a scale of 1 to box breaking, I give it a 10. Yes! You nice! I did it! I did it! <laughs> okay! We're gonna fight Nitros! Next time on Green and Purple. Bye, everybody. See ya. <laughs>